Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Rust Admin Academy where we explore the wonderful world of modding your Rust servers. Stay tuned, let's see what we're getting into today. Okay, welcome to the channel. So today we're going to be looking into how we adjust how much loot we get out of barrels and boxes and stuff like that. Previously, we've taken care of how much resources we get when we either hit a tree or hit a ore node or uh, things of that nature. Today we're going to get into how much you get out of barrels and boxes. Okay, so if we switch over to UMOD and we just do a real quick search for loot, uh, you'll see that there's plenty of different options out there. There's tons of different loot controllers um, and each one has its own benefit. I just wanted to show you a couple that I've used in the past. Better Loot is a very strong plugin. It's very configurable. It's very extensive. Uh, you can get into the very, very nitty gritty of each individual item that you want to spawn more of when a player hits a box or a barrel. Not that you hit boxes, but you know what I'm saying. Um, it's, it's very complicated, um, but very powerful if you want to get into the details. So today we're actually going to look at Magic Loot. Magic Loot is a, a very simple... Um, you change a couple of lines on the in the config file and you're done. Uh, it's a it's a, an inclusive plugin where you are basically multiplying uh, the entire loot table or uh, increasing by a multiplier or increasing the number of items that are in each box or barrel, I should say. Um, as vanilla, you know that when you hit a barrel, typically you'll get two, three, four, or five scrap, and then another item. Well, let's say we want to have 25 scrap and five different items in that, in that barrel, and uh, Magic Loot will allow us to do that. So let's get into it. So of course we're gonna download this. Of course it goes into our downloads folder and we're gonna copy that and we're gonna drop that into our Oxide folder, plugins folder. And we're gonna wait for it to generate up here like we always do. There it is. And then we're gonna go into the config, magic loot config. Okay, so now there's a quite a few different things that we need to pay attention to uh, in the config file. So we can just do straight up multipliers so we want to let's say we want to do uh, the item list multiplier so that will make it so that instead of getting one item you'll get whatever we put in here so let's put uh, uh let's do 10 just just so that it's very very drastic and then of course let's do this multiplier at 10 as well and uh, you can just completely ignore this section right here this is just for developers and there's a list here that you can add. You can add items to this list right here that will exclude from the multiplier. So if you don't want, like from default, they come. It comes with uh, smoke rockets that you don't want to multiply uh, across the board. So you can add items here. Let's say C4 does naturally spawn out there, but let's say you don't want it to be multiplied by ten. Uh, you can add. Uh, timed explosive charges to this list and it'll exclude it from that multiplier now the the section this is the the most fun section right here so this is the section that will make it so that instead of there being a scrap as well as one extra item it you can have it as many as you want okay so first of all we're going to enable this section of the plugin and we're going to tell it what is the maximum number of items that we want in our barrel so let's say let's just make it really really drastic let's make it uh 16 so that's the maximum number of items that are going to be actually that's too many let's do 12. that's the maximum number of items that are going to be in a barrel when somebody breaks a barrel uh you can also set the minimum so we don't want the minimum to be one let's make the minimum uh eight just because we want to see a drastic change here right away right item stack size minimum so uh, this line here is telling what's the minimum number of each item in each stack and if you want it to be as low as one just leave that at default but let's say we want to make it uh, only so the minimum items that you're going to get is five okay 
So let's save this and reload it and see what it does. And when you reload the plugin, you'll see that it actually goes through and changes everything that's currently on the map. So let's see what we've uh, let's see what we've accomplished here. All right, so here's the first box that I've come across here. Let's see what's inside this box. Okay, so as you can see, it has multiplied and increased the number of slots that uh, have lootable items in them. So instead of having a vanilla, you now have a very, very extreme modifier. So as an example, uh, let's say, okay, so we've set these multipliers to 10, uh, but let's say you want to operate a two times server or a three times server. Well, you would change these to two if you want it to be a two times server or three if you wanted it to be a three times server. And then of course, uh, you can reduce these or increase these. It depends entirely on what you want to do. Um, the options are unlimited. Let's say you had a specific list of items that you wanted to multiply in your server. For this example, let's just use scrap. So we're going to leave this at one. And we're going to delete all the rest of this stuff out of here. And we're going to turn on multiply only the items list. So we're going to make that true. And then we're going to add what the multiplier is. So item list multiplier. Let's make this. Uh, uh, we'll just make it 1500 as an example. And if we save this and reload this plugin, that's going to go through the map. And anytime there's a scrap, it's going to multiply that one scrap by 1500. But that's the only thing on your map that it's going to multiply everything else will be completely uh, vanilla stacks item availability and then down below that uh, you can individually control each each type of crate so as you can see here you can control just the bradley crate by itself and you can control how many extra items are put into each box and then you can also add a multiplier on there so instead of there being one armored door inside there you could put like five armored doors or five rockets or five whatever that you normally would see coming out of a bradley crate you can multiply that by five and you can do that with every single different type of box and like there's food boxes there's presents you can control the heli crates you can control that's why i prefer this plugin because it's it's simple to make drastic changes and it's also simple to undo those changes if you feel that it's too much. Plus, you, if you decide that there's too much of something in there, you can go in and reduce that specifically. So Magic Loot is the plugin that I use most often on all of my modded servers. It, like I said, it's just it's the simplest one to use. It's uh, when you compare it to other plugins out there that are incredibly complicated and very extensive when it comes to the data file that you have to work with. It's, it's definitely the way to go. I recommend Magic Loot. Uh, if you want to get into more uh, specific loot control, then you're gonna wanna get into better loot. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope this helps you out a little bit. If you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the comment section down below, of course. And if you haven't already done so, be sure to hit that thumbs up for me. It helps me out a lot and I super appreciate it. I love seeing your guys' comments. I hope to see more. And if you want to see more content from me, be sure to subscribe and turn on notification bells. Thanks. We'll see you guys in the next video.